Hey guys, this is Jess at Hawk Optics uh, ATA Show 2015. We're going to go over how to sight in the crossbow scope, the XB1 or the XB30. The sight in is simply the same on both of them. What I want you to do first, sight in at 20 yards. Magnification does not matter on sight in. You can have it cranked all the way up on 5 power or all the way down on one and a half. That does not matter on both of these scopes. What you'll do first, your sight in point is your top aiming point. You'll go back to 20 yards. You will use your right and left up and down turn to sight in, achieve zero at 20 yards. Once that is done, put your turn caps back on. You no longer need them anymore. Go back to 30. Set your speed approximately what you think your crossbow is shooting. So if it's shooting 330, put your speed on 330. Use your second aim point down. Take a shot at 30 yards. This is where it's critical. If you hit low at 30 yards, I want you to turn your speed down a little bit. That will bring your impact up. If you're hitting high, I want you to turn your speed up a little bit. That will bring your impact down. Once you have your speed dial set, they are up and down as bullseye at 30, you are done. Leave your speed dial set there. There is no set screws. It's resettable grease. It will not move. Make a little mark if you choose to. It will set there forever. You're good. One thing I want to make a point of, everybody's always asking me, can I turn my magnification? You cannot turn your magnification for your further aiming points past 20. Your top aiming point at 20 will never move on magnification change, but your 30, 40, so forth, so on will. So leave your magnification once you get it set there at one point. If something runs in, close yardage, and you want to turn it down to one and a half, it's not going to move your 20-yard aiming point. Feel free to do that. Thanks for your time. This is Jess Hawk. Have a good day.